Okay, I'm, I'm gonna sound crazy. I know I'm gonna sound weird, but I also know I'm not the only one that, that... I also know I'm not the only one that thinks this. But my surroundings and how they look can be kind of actually pretty important to me. I've been popping from place to place, so I've kind of had to think about how do I make an aesthetic life inside and out. So yes, I'm gonna be telling you and giving you all the tips on how to genuinely make your surroundings aesthetic and make your surroundings beautiful, like physically. Cause not everybody has, is not, it has influencers money, you know? And I feel like a lot of influencers, don't get me wrong, congratulations on getting that mun mun. <laughs> Who calls it mun mun? But at the same time, the average person doesn't have the luxury or always have the money to live in a place that's so beautiful either location wise or house wise so i'm going to be giving the tips on that but i also want to share tips on how to make your life your own whether you feel unsafe in your house which i understand or you color palette in your apartment isn't the color palette you want, which I also understand. <laughs> I'm going to be sharing you how to make your life your own and more importantly, how to make your life aesthetic even if your surroundings aren't the most aesthetic. So a little bit of a story here. When I first moved into the situation, the living situation that I'm in now, I live with quite a few people and I obviously make my little YouTube videos. Duh, you're watching it right now. But I didn't feel comfortable filming, A, because I don't want people to hear me, but B, you know, the backdrop wasn't my own and I would watch all these other beautiful YouTube videos and all these beautiful people's homes and I'm not even talking about like rich, rich. I'm just talking about the home that they've created for themselves. I haven't had that yet and I'm not living in a situation with that right now. So I come to realize the power of outsourcing. Whether it is filming a YouTube video, <laughs> like I'm right now, or just freaking hanging out somewhere, outsourcing and finding different places around that either fit your aesthetic or make you feel more like you is such a good way to live a more aesthetic life and to surround yourself with aesthetic things. Whether it's being outside, which, oh my God, it is gorgeous. Or whether it's just like going to a coffee shop with the vibe that you really like. Kind of maybe finding your third place there's a massive bumblebee. It's so fluffy. Or libraries or bars or pubs, community centers, or maybe taking up some sort of hobby. I have a friend who does clay making and she plays with that. So kind of outsourcing and that sort of way really helps, can really help you feel like you. Even if you don't have your own room to decorate. Another thing is, and this is kind of annoying, <laughs> Trust me. You kind of have to accept what your location is, but then use your creative brain. You, I have to accept that this is where I'm at. You know, if there's no freaking use being bummed. And I'm also very grateful. I'm in a very fortunate position to have the support. I also do feel very lucky to just even have a house, of, like a roof over my head. You know what I mean? And to be with a really nice family. So I'm very grateful for that. But you know, you do kind of have to accept like, damn, okay, okay. This isn't exactly either my aesthetic or this isn't feeling like me. So you kind of have to accept that. And then that can help you lead to like outsourcing. But you, there's also beauty in everything. There is. And it's also about changing your perspective and changing with what you can do with it. If an apartment has like really dark, but like outdated cabinetry, is that a word? cabinets in the kitchen that's hard for me to work with you know what i mean but i have to accept it especially if it's an apartment that i can't like redo and i have to just like find my way around and find the beauty in things maybe it can be a really pretty color mixed with another color you get what i'm saying you kind of have to use your imagination and see things in a different way and maybe decorate them in a different way it can be kind of a challenge but like a fun challenge. I hope that makes sense. Like, ooh, this isn't the color that I want, but how can I find a different color that also works with it to make it the way I want it to? You know what I mean? So that's in terms of, you know, using your creative elements to make your surroundings more aesthetic or something that just fits you. Room makeover. Make over your room, girl. If things that can really change a look of a room are, honestly, curtains. Okay. Look at inspo. Look at different color palettes that you want. Sometimes you can only just rearrange stuff and that can also help you as well. Another point is to dress for yourself, obviously. But if your surroundings aren't matching what you're liking or 
they just aren't you or they're not aesthetic or they're not pretty because I do believe in making life beautiful because why not? That's not a shallow thing to want to live in a beautiful environment, you know what I mean? Dressing up yourself and your body and decorating your human form can be another way to express that and to feel like yourself and to make your own body because your body is your surrounding. Why wouldn't you decorate it? To match how you want to feel. So using fashion and using your creative expression in dressing up <laughs> can really make you feel like yourself. Even if you don't have anything else, at least you have yourself. At least you have your body to decorate. Even if it's just holding on to one little necklace or two that make you feel like your own. Even if you are in the depths of the depths Maybe just how you style your hair. Maybe it's just a color that you wear because obviously everybody has different ways on how they want to dress and there's religions involved and stuff. Using your outfits and using your just dressing up as a part of your an extension while also being very close to you. An extension of the beauty in your surroundings. If you've gotten this far, I can only assume that you are somebody who likes aesthetics. I mean... It'd be weird if you weren't and you clicked on this video. So I'm gonna point you to a video that I personally am really proud of and I think is really beautiful and I loved making. It's this English day that I had and I really just enjoyed the artistry of that video. So if you're interested, you can watch that or a playlist or the other video I linked. I don't know which one I have yet. Subscribe to support me. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.